Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. Other sports have state championships on deck. For wrestling, it's arrived. And sports director Darren Winberg is in Omaha to recap semifinal action. Good evening, Nebraska. Darren Winberg here from the CHI Health Center for semifinal Friday. Over 50 kids from the area still have a shot at meddling. But who's going to punch their ticket to state championship Saturday? Talk about electric start. Check out the National Guard repelling down from the rafters with the U.S. flag. USA, USA. Let's go. Let's start with Class C. As 38 and 3, Jace Martin of Wood River going up against Brock Goble of Syracuse. And it's Martin punching his ticket to state, edging Go Goble by a score of 4 to 3. Been here before, I know. I know what to see, I expect. So I had the upper hand there. Staying in Class C, 132 pounds, Donovan Trumbulls, Dakota Gibson going up against Carney Catholic's Colton Kelly. And Gibson storms back after losing to him in multiple times in the season and comes away punching his ticket to state. He's pumped, winning it by a score of 11 to five. You celebrate. It's gonna be a hard match going into it. He's gotten me three times, and I just wanted to prove to everybody that I can make it after not succeeding in the last two years. On to Class D, and it's 106 is Burwell's Brody Jensen. He just wins it. He's going to state Saturday as he pins it to win it by at a time of 431. 132 pounds, Elm Creek's Jackson Smith going up against Calvin Carraher of Franklin, and it's Smith improving to 45-3 and three and competing for a gold medal tomorrow. Feels great. Uh, I can't believe it. First time, and I'm just going to go out there, give it my all, do my best, and see what happens. Next up in Class D, 138-pound match is Pleasanton's Gatlin Crepola is returning to state championship with a pin at the 240 mark. 138 pounds, check out 47-1 Coy Cole of Sutherland, a fourth place finisher at State a season ago. Well, he improves on that season as he punches it. Ticket to Saturday's final with a major decision win of 13-2. On a Class A where we go to 150 pound match, Tate Choplin, the senior coming in at 30-18, and 18, going up against Bellevue East Liberian Parker, and this one was dynamic as Choplin leading 10 to 8, looking like he won it in regulation, but it would go to overtime, and he wins it with a two-point takedown, and he's going to state championship tomorrow. Man, I I don't know how to feel. I've been dreaming of this since freshman year. I got sick freshman year, week before districts, then last year fell short by a single point in the blood rounds, and now I'm here going to the state finals, and I got one of my brothers over there, Jack Sponenberg at 106. We're both going to the finals, baby. Lastly, girls action, 110 pounds. Ainsworth, Joylin Pozel going up against Ruby Guerrero of Wood River. And it's Pozel of Ainsworth improving to 37 and two. And she punches her ticket to state. Congratulations to all the area athletes. Well, there you have it. A handful of kids have already punched their ticket to state championship Saturday. For the full results, head to our website, nebraska.tv. Reporting from ZHI Health Center, Darren Winberg, NTV Sports.